Up for grabs is the 15th seat in the 37th Guam Legislature. Candidates Jesse Luhan, who got 11,995 votes, and Dr. Kelly Marsh Titano, who received 11,620 votes. Then there's the race for Attorney General between incumbent Levin Camacho and former AG Douglas Moyland. The latter leads by 77 votes. Results for both races, not including the provisional ballots, were too close to call. Here's Maria Pangilinan, the GEC's executive director. The law states that anything less than 2%, uh, any difference less than 2% requires a recount. So we will recount after we finish um, tabulating, or processing and tabulating pro uh, provisionals and absentees. The recount has been scheduled to begin at 5.30 p.m. on Thanksgiving Eve. It was about five hours it took us to get through all the count on a general election night. Is it expected to take the same, seeing as we're running those same amount of ballots? You know, that that seems logical, right? So we'll see, but um, we, we plan to make it as efficient as possible. We've started setting up since last week, the actual venue, um, and we continue to go we continue to physically um, look at, uh, inspect all the, ba all the ballot envelopes. Pangolin continued to say that if zero glitches or issues are discovered, then the commission will vote to certify the results. For the time being, AG candidate Moylan asked the GEC for a copy of the voter listing used election night, stating that he wants to make sure remaining outstanding ballots are counted and that there were no double votes. Reporting for KUM News, I'm Jason Salas.